friends here i will be talking about range function see here the range function is used to generate sequence of numbers that means simply to generate a list and here we have two types of syntaxes for range function they are range of number and then range of start comma stop comma step so here all these arguments are always integers now let me go with practice so that you will be good with range function first i am going with our first syntax that is range of number so simply i am taking range of let's say 5 so now range of 5 is going to generate 5 numbers anyway that is a list now if you want to see the result of this range of 5 function you have to use print function or else you can store that result into a variable let's say my list equals to range of 5 and then you can print that list save it and run it and observe the output so it is giving simply range 0 comma 5 actually the meaning for this is starting from 0 it is going to give 5 numbers now if you want to see those sequence of numbers that list you need to convert this range function result into a list now i converted that using list conversion data type see the result now you are getting five values starting from zero so now zero to four means five values only that's it so that is about simply our first syntax now let me go with second syntax now see here i am taking one more variable let's say my new list equals to list of range of i am giving starting from 0 comma 5 comma 1 start with 0 stop with 5 step is 1 now see the result yeah to see the result just to print your my new list see for both the cases you are getting same output that means by default by default if you take your first syntax by default start is 0 and step is 1 step means basically the difference between two successive numbers that's it now let me comment this entire code now directly i am printing list of range of let's say 4 comma 7 comma 1 now let me run so before going to run can you expect what is the output start from 4 with step 1 how many values you are going to get basically 5 minus 0 5 values 7 minus 4 3 values you are going to get yes 4 5 6 3 values with step as 1 5 minus 4 1 6 minus 5 1 now let me take one more example suppose now i am printing list of range of let's say start from 2 20 stop value then i am taking step as 2 see 20 minus 2 how many values 18 values but we are taking step is 2 that means 18 by 2 9 values you are going to get that's it now let me give the one simple uses of range function so for that just i am taking my list in this way suppose i am taking 4 comma python some let's say float value see here we have three values in our list and we know that once we define a list with some list of values by default python will give some index numbers for each and every value now here 4 is first value so for that index is 0 python is second value index is 1 5.7 that is third value index is 2 now if you know range function concept you can print directly index numbers for your list how let me give very simple logic print print see that i am taking list of range of length of my list see length of my list will give number of values in your list now we have three values now this place will be replaced with three now range of three means starting from 0 it will give 3 values means 0 1 2 now those are nothing but now for our list index numbers see the result very simple that's it
so this is one of the simple uses of range function anyway we will see lot of usages while implementing our scripts okay thank you for watching this video